much. We've got a packed agenda this afternoon. Konami-san is already here ready to kick us off. He's got the unenviable task of entertaining, exciting, <laughs> and amusing everyone straight after lunch. I'm sure he'll be able to do that. And then after Kanamisan, we do have then a complex step in the agenda where you will have to choose certain tracks to go to. That is in your, um, whatever you call this thing, in your guide, I've been told. It's called a guide. I was going to call it a strategic visionary document, but merely a guide um, here, which tells you which one to choose. There'll be one here and one upstairs, but I'll tell you more about that in a little while. Let me get the agenda right underway this afternoon and welcome onto the stage Konami-san, head of the marketing unit here at Fujitsu, key person in charge of marketing strategy aimed at really expanding Fujitsu's global business. Konami-san, he's worked all over the world here in the United States, Konami-san, in India and in Japan. Please welcome Konami-san to the stage. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, uh, everyone. I hope the, uh, you enjoyed the lunch and the good networking with the people and uh, visiting our uh, great you know, recent showcases. Uh, before I started my presentation, I just want to talk about uh, two things uh, which I kind of uh, uh, remind. Uh, this morning, Saso-san mentioned the, uh, 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 some AT&T Northeast Corridor things, which reminds me the time I joined the company in 1981. Uh, U.S. Congress, uh, against the AT&T decisions to introduce Fujitsu fiber optics technologies for the uh, Northeast Corridors, Washington, D.C., New York, and Boston. And then uh, uh, Mr. Hamada, uh, who are the CEO of the uh, FNC, Fujitsu Network Communication, uh, told uh, us today, now, believe it or not, you know, 75% of the uh, uh, network traffics are now supported by uh, Fujitsu's technologies. I really, you know, proud of ourselves, uh, our performance, but at the same time, I really appreciate the uh, fair judgment of the technology made by uh, uh, U.S. people and the enterprises. So this is a really, how can I say, good, how can I say, praise uh, for this to be uh, extending uh, our you know, capabilities. And the second topics which I want to mention, uh, what you know, uh, world business leaders uh, talk about uh, in uh, World Economic Forum in Davos uh, this year. They said technology finally coming back again to the main stage. And uh, uh, business leaders like uh, John Chambers saying that, you know, uh, technology empower people. So this is the, uh, exactly what you know, Fujitsu uh, uh, aiming for uh, and then the using our ICT power. And I really, we are really looking for the uh, empowering the people by uh, using uh, our technologies. So uh, let me start the, uh, my presentation. But at the same, I, I just want to, uh, one thing that I want to mention. Uh, my presentation is a bit the, uh, uh, kind of using a small characters. And uh, also, there are some small scripts. So if you really want to understand uh, my presentation, please come to the front so that uh, you will uh, see uh, the better understanding, you know? So today, uh, we look at the uh, human-centric innovation in action. Uh, I will share some great examples of how human-centric innovation is transforming the way business operates and our daily lives. As you, everybody knows, this is maybe uh, hearing uh, many places and many where, a uh, new world is emerging. It is a world of connectivities, people, and the things around us all link together, sharing information. We call it a hyper-connected world, and it will have a huge impact on the future 
more connectivity means more collaboration. It means vanishing boundaries. It means changing to the way business work and how society creates value. It also means the future will be different. At the heart of the hyper-connected world is a new generation of the internet, internet of the things. The digital world will connect your car, bike, skateboard on, on the street, air conditioner, refrigerator, washing machine, you know, microwave oven, even light bubble in your house, maybe your dog and cat, so on and on, the, so on and on and on. In 2013, there were around 10 billion devices connected to the internet. This number will likely reach 50 billion or more by 2020. Massive amount of information are being generated and linked together as a result, creating new knowledge, helping people, and developing huge potential for business opportunities. Combined with IoT, digitalization is accelerating hyperconnectivity. More and more physical things, services around us are digitalized and controlled by intelligent software. Your smartphone, home appliances, cars, manufacturing operations, and social infrastructures, everything. Mark Andresen said a few years ago, software is eating the world. It is true. Borders between physical and digital, hardware and software are fading away. This is having a huge impact on the industries and on our daily lives. In a hyper-connected world, aimed with only a good idea, anybody can innovate. The time and the cost required to transform an idea into business opportunity has drastically reduced. Today, product design using low-cost CAD is available to everybody, and testing can be performed easily through high-speed simulation. Furthermore, with the rapid rise of the smartphones and the applications, these products are then sold on the net and delivered quickly to users. In this new world, what is the key driver to create innovation and grow? Fujitsu answer is simple. The people. People create value. It is critically important that organizations leverage the creativity of people with the use of technology. So how do we create innovation? Through Fujitsu's new approach we call human-centric innovation. This is a new way of creating innovation by empowering people with ICT. Compared with the traditional approaches to innovation, it can be led by anyone with agile and open processes at the lower cost setup, and it utilizes ecosystems rather than a value chain. Human-centric innovation is Fujitsu's new approach to realizing business and the social value by creating solutions and services that bring together three dimensions. People, information, and infrastructure. These three dimensions do not stand alone, of course. Instead, 
they are closely interrelated. Today, everyone has a smartphone connected to them all the time, and the things are constantly connected and exchanging data. Incorporating data flow among people, people and the things, and the things and the things, leads to discovering new insight and value. We believe this is the optimal way to deliver tangible outcomes in a hyper-connected world. Now, let's consider human-centric innovation as a roadmap for enterprise growth. At an individual level, people have become empowered to create new value with open innovation. While at the ent enterprise level, higher value can be created by bringing together, as I mentioned, people, information, and infrastructures. In addition, further value is co-created in the digital ecosystems that extend across industries. In turn, these digital ecosystems that co-create a diverse value will mesh with each other and shape our vision, a human-centric, intelligent society, which is very difficult to say, but anyway, uh, human-centric, intelligent society. I would like to thank uh, Professor Sugiura from uh, University of Tokyo and uh, Mr. Uratani uh, from Metawater on the really insightful Hayes studies uh, they presented this morning. Now, let's consider some more examples of human-centric innovation in action. Firstly, we will take a look at technology used in the manufacturing, uh, monozukuri in Japanese, monozukuri. And then uh, we will look at the example in agriculture where innovation is driven by ICT. In the manufacturing industries, we have seen drastic changes through the power of ICT. In 2012, GE introduced the concept of uh, industrial internet. This focus on integrating manufacturing machines and ICT with various digital technologies, such as IoT, networking, sensors, and big data, to ultimately improve customer productivities. GE estimated that the industry internet could add 10 to 15 trillion dollars to the global GDP over the next 20 years. In March 2014, the industry internet consortium was formed by GE, AT&T, Cisco, Intel, and others to drive innovation. Fujitsu has since joined the consortium and is an only Japanese company at its steering committee. Fujitsu is making a significant contribution to the consortium in driving the initiative, such as developing best practices. In this next example, a machinery manufacturers utilize big data analysis at their factory, the company first collects a huge amount of the log data from printed circuit board mounting machines. Then analyze this big data to visualize real-time production lines and can identify areas for improvement in a sixth of time it previously took.
Fujitsu provides a wide variety of solutions to manufacturers based upon leading technology, including virtual realities. This has made it possible to evaluate a product in full before physical prototype is produced. More specifically, through digital simulation, we can now review the look and feel a product virtually. In a similar way, production line in a factory can be optimized before they are built by simulating workers' action and ensuring the right processes for production is implemented. Innovation driven by ICT is shaping the future of manufacturing. Now, let's look at the uh, drastic impact the emergence of uh, ICT is having on the agriculture industry. How we produce safer and reliable food is a big challenge, especially in Japan. As such, Fujitsu has developed the uh, food and agricultural cloud, Akisai, uh, like a uh, fall harvest uh, in US, uh, English which services more than 200 enterprise customers related to the agriculture industries. Akisai deliver farmers the ability to improve their method of production through collecting data from smart device and the sensors. Field workers take pictures of crop with the smartphones to record growth and the other data. This is then sent to the cloud and combined with environmental data like uh, uh, with a fixed, fixed sensor, uh, including uh, air temperatures, uh, precipita precipitations, and soil temperatures. In fact, Fujitsu has even started to leverage this cloud service and approach to innovation at our own facilities. At Ai's Wakamatsu factory, uh, believe it or not, a transformed uh, semiconductor plant, we now produce high quality, low potassium vegetable through this process. Our low potassium, uh, low calorie lettuce, calium lettuce, is uh, distributed to the uh, healthcare facilities and help people with kidney disease to control their potassium intake. Another example in agriculture is the use of Akisai in supporting and uh, stabilizing production of one of the most popular Japanese sake, Dasai. This is my favorite subject. <laughs> dasai sake uh, is brewed by Asahi Shuzo and uh, use a unique rice called Yamada Nishiki for production. This is too much detail, but uh, however, <laughs> rice farmers have a traditional struggle to keep up with the demand. In April 2014, uh, Asahi Shuzo leveraged our Akisai to collect and accumulate harvest data from their farms. Based upon the data accumulated, Asahi Shuzo established a technology platform to stabilize crop production while sharing farming know-how with a new producer uh, of uh, Yamada Nishiki at the same time. So this increased rice production and create greater consistency in the availability of Dasai Sake Human-centric innovation is shaping the future of the agriculture. This is good news for me. <laughs> One more example is Eon, 
the largest uh, supermarket chain in Japan. Now they are aggressively expanding their uh, business uh, outside of Japan, especially in Asian countries, which has embarked on the agri agri agriculture business uh, to deliver safer and more reliable vegetable for their customers. This subsidiary, Eon AgriCreates, has been working with Fujitsu in implementing an agriculture crowd to transform the way they run their business. The learn more, let's look at this video featuring the president of Eon AgriCreate. But unfortunately, the uh, audio is in Japanese and the script is very small, so that uh, probably you cannot really see the detail, but uh, you will feel the look and feel uh, they are comfortable with our technology and they are satisfied with it. So.日本の富士通さんと一緒にじゃあ、あの、各農場の蓄積している情報をみんなで共有していく。から イオン考えていかないと、富士通さんの技術もどんどんどんどん進んでるし、一緒になってこう話ができれば、最高の農業の発展につながる仕組みになると思います。So now, you know, this in the business model. Uh, we are now extending to Vietnam, and then uh, we are, uh, have an experiment to grow the uh, orchid, which is a high value of the product, so that uh, 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 we are tied with the Vietnam government and uh, uh, IT service company, FPT, uh, we together uh, uh, starting with the exp experiment in Vietnam as well. So these ag agriculture example gives rise to the concept of four digital ecosystems created to support safer and more reliable food supplies by sharing information among farms, logistic companies, and the trade uh, retailers. 
Fujitsu Cloud Platform underpins the value chain of the digital ecosystems. Digital ecosystem is accelerating innovation and providing enterprise with the ability to collaborate across existing in the industry boundaries in a hyper-connected world. Traditionally, business create value using closed value chain, but we expect more and more business will work as an ec ecosystem. Value will be co-created for each end customers through a digital ecosystem. This will be a radical change in how business work. Here, this diagram represents a human-centric digital ecosystem in action. In this early example, the ecosystem generates high-value products at a low cost by a variety of apps, handsets, and services provided by different market players. Open innovation has become a fundamental part of human-centric innovation. And appropriately, Fujitsu is establishing a gateway for open innovation in North America. This gateway is an ecosystem for co-creating new opportunities. In this way, Fujitsu aims to become a partner through collaboration with broader ecosystem, industry, university, government, and NPO, and so on. As mentioned earlier, people are the key to driving new value, and even for enterprises, it has become more important than ever to empower individuals and leverage open community to create innovation. TechShop is a leading company in the maker movement and offers an open community for individuals to utilize advanced technology and machinery to shape their idea into something tangible. There are many great outcomes from open innovation at the tech shop, such as the Doodoo -doo case for tablet, uh, Square's credit card reader for smartphones, and the low-cost infant warmer for the developing countries. TechShop and Fujitsu recently announced the launch of TechShop Insight powered by Fujitsu. This new initiative is a mobile makerspace, which you can see here today. It is equipped with the leading technology such as 3D printers, laser cutters, of course, and Fujitsu PCs. The mobile makerspace is visiting school deliveries hands-on learning experience. Fujitsu is working with tech shop in a variety of areas. We believe ICT will take a leading role in the global challenges, including population growth and aging, urbanization, food shortages, environmental issues, and natural disasters. Aligning our business activities to the goal of achieving a common good is not just our aim, but we believe our obligations. Human-centric intelligent society is our vision. It is safer, more, more prosperous, and a sustainable world. People are connected and empowered by knowledge. Diverse systems are cross-connected, shaping digital ecosystem to deliver greater value for people. As a head of marketing, my goal is to collaborate and partner with more and more business in North America to drive innovation towards realizing a human-centric intelligent society. Please enjoy learning more about Fujitsu vision and leading technologies uh, during the 
following breakout session and uh, our exhibition areas. Thank you very much. Thank you for your attention. Kenamei-san, thank you so much. We really appreciate that. Excellent. Now,